Hey everyone, it's Amy from Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and to a Thursday night thrifting adventure. So today is kind of a part two. We are shopping at the Goodwill in Akron. If you missed it, I will attach Tuesday's video. Tuesday was a ginormous bins haul. We have this amazing Goodwill in Akron where on the one side is a bins outlet store and on the other side is the retail store. We spent, I would say, a couple of hours on the bin side, got there at 8 a.m. and by probably 10, 10.30, we went over to the retail side and spent, I would say, another four hours there. They just kept rolling out carts and we were shopping off the carts and having a great time and finding really great things that I cannot wait to show you. So, without further ado, let's go shopping. We started without the camera, so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I had here in my cart. And then I'm also going to show these in a haul right here in a couple of minutes. But that was a beautiful little dish. This piece went actually with my aunt. And this little creamer and sugar set, which I don't remember who made it, uh, went back on the shelf. And then, of course, I'm going to show you these things as well. But just thought I would show you where we were when we first started. Um, here's what was in my aunt's cart. I'm going to include her eBay store below so that you can go and check it out. If you ever see anything in any video, um, you know, inside her cart, please go to her eBay store. And then I saw this and from the back I could tell, I had an inkling, <laughs> that that was an elephant tail and sure enough look at this guy oh my gosh y'all know he came home with me especially for a dollar you kidding me did you know it was an elephant when you saw the tail i had a pretty good inkling <laughs> look at how cool he is he's so neat and he's in great shape. His little tusks are there. He's a Pier 1 piece and only a dollar. So I had to grab him. I think he's wonderful. I saw on eBay there was one, I think, that had a zebra head too. Very cool. They sell for about $15 to $20 um, plus shipping. And that's where I'll be with him. He will go on eBay. Do not buy a lot of mugs. Um, one-off mugs, but when I find one like this, yeah, I have to. These were early finds that we kind of started and then I realized, oh, I better turn the camera on because there was such great things that I'm, I was missing, right? So here was one of them that I scooped when we first went in and hit the first aisle. And it is a gorgeous little dish. It's like a springtime cute little dish and look at that matching spoon with the leaf on it so cute it is made by the halden group do i have that upright nope you just saw 1987 right the halden group and yes i paid three dollars for it can you believe that the last one sold i want to say for 30 ish dollars i think there's one listed for 40 um, I'll probably list this in between there, that $30 and $40 range, but how exciting, right? So this was a good start. These were also in the cart. You probably saw them in the front of the cart. They are amazing. There were two pieces that are made by this company called Artimo. A-R-T-I-M-I-N-O. These are something, I know that's upside down. <laughs> These are something that you should look for. They are valuable. I saw like one dinner plate sold for 40 or 50 bucks, one dinner plate. It is that kind of clean, crisp, white um, farmhouse that a lot of people are still into. And this is like a condiment dish. Although when I found this on replacements.com, who doesn't have one by the way, I can't find anyone selling one of these right now. They call it a salt and dip uh, dish. So I guess you could put salt or uh, something in there, but aren't they awesome? Look at that. Beautiful condition. And then look at this guy. Ah, this guy 
is a little covered dish. He's kind of big for a butter dish, don't you think? I would probably put something delicious on here and then he could just hide them until you were ready to eat them. <laughs> he is great and he is expensive. The last one sold for like 60 bucks. I took the price tag off of this because I wanted to see the label, but I paid $4 for this. So four into 60 is amazing. Now I will probably sell these separate and I imagine that these condiment pieces will go for less, but since there's none out there right now, I will probably price them a little high. I would say I'm probably gonna do $29.99 on these and see if somebody makes an offer. So between the two of them, probably 80 to $90. So keep an eye out for these, definitely. Okay, pay attention here. This is a piece that I'm actually going to freeze frame. This is a sculpture made by the artist Martin Gaiti, G-A-I-T-I. He is a local Cleveland artist, and I passed on this piece. I didn't even try and look it up. However, my friend Cindy who is a local reseller here in the Cuyahoga Falls area, she frequents the same local stores and she found this piece. She sold it in a matter of hours on Facebook Marketplace. So good on her. I was excited to see it. When she posted it, I said, no way, you're not going to believe this, but I actually had my hands on that piece <laughs> when I saw it um, the day before. So how wonderful is that? I was thrilled to see that. She has a Instagram page. Go check her out. She sells from her Instagram page. And you'll see by evidence of these posts um, that she has amazing taste and style. Um, very reminiscent of a lot of the things that you'll see me pick up. I say all the time, you just never know what you're going to run into, and it's hard. You cannot look everything up. You have to go with your gut, and that piece didn't speak to me that it, you know, the way that it spoke to Cindy, and that's so cool. I love that story. These pieces were cool. They were um, some hobbyist pieces, and it looks like they glued lid, like ball jar lids up inside of them. And that one was missing its lid, but that you could then screw them onto ball jars. They were super cute. I set them out so that somebody else would see them. They just weren't something that I decided on. There were a lot of hobbyist pieces. You saw a squirrel there. Um, this day at the Goodwill, there were a ton of hand-painted pieces. We ran into a bunch all over the place. And that's my cat. She thinks she's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hear her in the background. <laughs> there was not a lot of figurines that I was interested in. I laughed at this one and I had to show Beth because it looks like it's like holding on for dear life. <laughs> like it's super scared <laughs> to be on the top of the egg or something. <laughs> I don't know. These were unique, big, heavy pieces. Looks like maybe the same person donated both. Um, it looked like it may have been a water feature or something, but there wasn't any cord. And then it was also a music box. Um, I really just didn't feel, you know, like that was something I needed. That was a little piece that was meant for a, um, what you call it, nightlight. <laughs> Uh, just taking a second look, but yeah, nothing in the figurines really spoke to me today. Now we're in the cookery stuff, the baking pans and whatnot, and saw this big roasting pan. I like those. I like the way they look. And then I saw this very, very heavy cast iron piece. It is a John Wright piece. And these are sellable. <laughs> this is unbelievably heavy. How cool is this though? I might have to use this before I sell it. I, will that decrease the value if I really, really clean it? <laughs> I just want to see what corn muffins look like in the shape of like onions and peppers and broccoli. I think it's adorable. I paid $5 for it. 
and it's probably worth somewhere between 30 and 40 dollars they sell kind of all over the place and some people have made that mistake of doing these on auction so there are some that have sold cheap um, I'm not gonna sell this cheap it is brand new it has never been used and it's you know I think it's worth at least thirty dollars so that's probably where I will be with it and it's gonna cost some to ship because it's heavy but yeah, I'm super tempted to put cornbread in it first. <laughs> to be honest, it's one of those things that I was like, wow, that would be cool to have. But how many times are you going to make like artichoke shaped cornbread? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in this same area, I looked back and I realized that I missed this big piece up here. This cool vintage Harvest Gold egg plate. And right on it, it said Lefton Ruby Lane Vintage. Like somebody else who was a reseller had it listed on Ruby Lane and decided, you know, it wasn't selling, so they donated it. How funny! Now I'm buying it to resell. <laughs> it is great that it's in this packaging, it's in this styrofoam. Um, I did pay $5 for it. It's probably somewhere in the $20 to $30 range as far as value. I think there's one out there right now in this same Harvest Gold, and it's on Ruby Lane. <laughs> so it's funny. It's like, did this person <laughs> post it and then donate it and not remember that they donated it? <laughs> It has two little salt and pepper shakers and these guys fit right there. So it is great. It's $5 and $5 was a bit much, um, but that's okay. I will probably price it somewhere between 20 and 30, like I said, maybe a little higher. I don't know yet if this is going to the shop or if this is going on eBay, it is a rather large platter and I have had success in selling another deviled egg tray at the shop. So maybe I just answered my own question. <laughs> maybe it's going to the shop. I feel like I want this. Yeah, remember that rule about not buying one-off mugs? <laughs> I broke it again for this guy. It is amazing. It's an Alaska mug. There are no marks on the bottom. I did pay $3 for this. Not a good flip, but I just could not resist because it says, may your cup always be two thirds full. You know, like two thirds, two thirds. I'm sorry, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny, I think it's funny. And I had to have it. Um, I will also be selling this, but again, probably in the 15 to $20 range for this. And it's not a great flip. It's not as good as the dollar flip that I had with the elephant mug, but it's still good. About this time, we took a seat and looked some stuff up and you'll see some other things in the cart that I should show you. It's pretty common when my aunts and I are out shopping that we will trade things. Somebody has some put something in the cart that, you know, the other person likes and we kind of say, oh, 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 you, you don't want that or, you know, oh, you really, really want that? <laughs> Here you go. We did trade some things this time, but it was funny. It was almost like we had changed our mind about those things, but the other person was like, oh, no, I'll take that. <laughs> that happened with that wooden... Um, Hallmark piece and she's really smart that she took that I don't know why I ended up I think I said something about it was too big to ship and she was like no it's not <laughs> she's smarter than me I think it probably will sell for 30 or 40 bucks and that's wonderful this piece was in her cart and she said she had changed her mind on it and I was like why <laughs> I love that it still has its original tag on it it is a vintage West Virginia glass piece and look at that owl on there. Can you see him all right? How cute is he? 
totally mid-century beautiful condition and he had come with a set I've only found I think one picture of the set and I didn't even see a sold price on it there's a site out there that sells like picture sets like mid-century picture sets and he had already sold so I didn't I wasn't able to see what they had him priced for so I'm not exactly sure yet I might find some information of course I'll share it here um, but I think he is striking and I think this is a piece I do not want to ship. It's a very large glass pitcher. Um, if I had to, I would, if anybody out there is like, I need that, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> but I think that somebody will see this at the shop and need to have it because it's just so striking. So that's the plan. The plan is it's going to the shop and not sure yet what the price is. I'm probably already put it down here somewhere. But awesome piece, and I was glad that she had changed her mind on that. What you couldn't see down in the bottom of the cart was these two, I have two of them, amazing teak trays. They are so little and they have these great little handles and this fork that is sitting in here is also carved teak it's got a little bit of tape on there still and i think this tape has been on there probably since they were made because it has changed the color of the wood um but i don't think that's going to affect it much i can't find these these are so unique i'm going to continue looking there was a lot to look up i paid a dollar a piece because black on this day was half off so i paid two dollars total for these and look at that with the little prop there for this little fork can you imagine like specialty cheese you know like blocks of cheese on here that you could just dish onto your plate oh my gosh it's so cute it's so mid-century modern the teak is in really good shape they're just amazing and I love them and I, yes, I'm going to sell them. <laughs> I'm going to sell them. I will probably try these on eBay and I think I will probably sell them together. Um, but, oh, they're so great. While we were going through and um, checking prices, checking values, we saw some other things come out. I grabbed her. This is a bolo. I will share with you in a second. Beth grabbed some beautiful tortoise shell glasses. Again, her store will be linked below. And then I found this as well. So let's take a look at these things. Bolo. This is a bolo. This was the coolest thing. And I wish I captured it on camera because it was one of those moments where I squealed when I checked this with my scanner on eBay. This popped up and I went, what? <laughs> she in the box like this should sell anywhere from 100 to 120 plus dollars. And that's exciting. <laughs> I paid $6 for her. I always scan things like this. If you find stuff new in the box, it takes like a split second to scan it. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I did. So finding something like this, this is like, awesome you know this is a great flip that will help pay for everything that we bought on that day both at the outlets and at the store you know i probably spent just under a hundred dollars in total and this will cover all of it which means the rest of it becomes part of my income which is why i'm doing it which is amazing right so thank you babbling boo i think that's your name um she does make noise Yeah, she's very popular. So keep an eye out for her if you're out shopping. This is a single golf club cover. It is Ohio State. So I think that's why it was hard for me to pass up. I did pay $4, which is kind of a lot. I think this is probably a 20-ish dollar piece. So 20 to $25 on eBay. It will be going on eBay. There is none like this with the pom-pom right now. So hopefully somebody's looking for this. 
Another thing that came out of my aunt's cart and went into mine is this New Wave induction cooktop. They had $20, $20 on this piece. And that seems like a lot until you look it up and realize that it sells anywhere from like 50 to 90. Um, I think the last one I saw had free shipping, but sold for 90 bucks. That's awesome. That means I can sell this if I would like to. I have been talking about getting one of these for the camper because I love that it's a no heat surface. Um, I don't know how it works. I'm going to read about it and see if that's something that would be good for us because anybody who goes camping um, knows that the worst thing in a hot summer day to do is to cook something inside the camper. So this might be perfect for the camper and for $20, that's a great addition. Um, if not, if, if I find out that, you know, it's not something we really want to use, this will be a good, um, easy sell. It's already boxed up. So this would be a good easy sell on eBay. One of the things that they brought out on the cart was this guy. He is so neat. I don't think that you can actually use him as a birdhouse because you can't empty any, you know, anything out of it. It actually kind of goes down into his legs too. So I don't know, but how cute. He's made by Spoon Teaks. There's a sticker on his belly. He cost me $3. That was the nice thing. There was a lot of stuff that was priced for $3. And that was, you know, $3 is a good deal. This guy will probably sell for $30. So that's that nice 10 times my money. Very cool. The last one I think sold for actually about 40. And there's not this one, but another similar one um, posted now for somewhere between 26 and 30. So I'm gonna probably put $29.99 on him. When we finally convinced each other that we were going to be leaving, I said, we didn't even check the linens yet. We have not sold a lot of linen since we've been in this new location, but I have sold a couple of quilts. So I do want to look for some bigger um, blankets and things like that. I did not find bigger blankets, but what I did find was some beautiful vintage towels. These are made by, I think, Fieldcrest. Let me find a tag here. And they are just pretty vintage towel. It's a little towel set. There is one small bath towel, two of these hand towels, and a washcloth. I was really hoping to find another bath towel, but that's okay. I think this is a cute little set, and it looks like vintage sheets and vintage towels do pretty well on eBay. So I'm probably going to list these on eBay. Um, wow, there's some lint fuzz coming off of there. <laughs> these totally reminded me of my friend Natisha from Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. If you don't watch her, you should watch her. She has very good taste. It's just like mine. <laughs> That's why I say it's very good. <laughs> so these reminded me of her. She has a big collection of old, um, beautiful vintage towels and she finds them like this in like perfect, almost new condition. So I found some, Natisha. After we got through the linens, we realized that we didn't check out the stuffed animals, which are across the store. They're over by the books. We did not check out the books. That's probably the only thing we didn't check out. <laughs> We've been everywhere else and seriously, we were exhausted, but I said, well, let's go take a look at the stuffed animals. They have a nice big bin and we found a couple of great things. I found a polar bear. This is a Build-A-Bear polar bear. And look at the beautiful pink coat he has on. Now this guy's worth pretty good money for a couple of reasons. One, he's wearing this great jacket. So the bear itself, if it was just the bear, is probably a 15 to $18 piece. I will share comps if I have seen them. Um, but then he's wearing this beautiful Build-A-Bear coat and it is in beautiful condition, both pieces. The coat itself, if I was to sell it separate, is also probably a 10 to $15 piece. So now we've got 15 to 20 on a good day plus 10 to 15. So we're looking at probably, you know, 25, 30 and up. 
but he also makes noise. Check this out. <laughs> He's so awesome. All of those factors probably have this guy somewhere between that $30 and $40 range. That's what I'm guessing. Now, I am no Cajun reseller, so maybe, Chris, you can jump into the comments below if you watch and tell us what I got here. I think I did pretty good. All of the stuffed animals are either $1.49 or $1.99. I want to say $1.49. So this was the first one I found. This is the second one that I found. Oh, look at him. He's so cool. He is new, still in his package, and he has tags. He is a flapping ears elephant, flapping ears and dancing. I can't help myself, it says. Now, it was funny because I had to put new batteries in him. Earth helped me make him work yesterday, and he is vintage. He has not had his button pushed in a long time. <laughs> So, so when you push his button, nothing really happened other than the music. And then we got his ears moving a little bit and Earth kind of gave him a little shoulder massage. And pretty soon he was doing his thing. Copyright strike. <laughs> Isn't he awesome? Come and you go. Come and you go. All right, all right. I'll probably get a copyright strike. <laughs> How cool is he? I have only been able to find him one time. It was on a worth point. I will share it here. Um, but he's new with tags on his box so i'm guessing this is a great find i'm thinking this is probably a 40 to 50 dollar piece but i guess we'll find out all right y'all that is it that was the big haul i told you it was big i hope that you stuck it out because man we found some good things and if you are a fellow reseller you probably saw some bolos today that you can look for or if you're just a fan of the treasure hunt, then you saw that too in this thrift haul. I love that you stuck around with me. If you're still here, I truly love you. You are the best. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all your support. I do appreciate you. And if you are here and you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that little alarm button, click it twice so you know when I put up a new video a couple of times a week. And do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you saw today that you loved or just say hello and then hit that little like button while you're at it and share us out so that we can continue to grow the channel. Um, super appreciate you all. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.